Hey what's up everybody, welcome back to the CPA tube tutorial. Today we'll be coding the Chinese New Year game. This is going to be a drop down game and it's going to look something like this. Alright, so when I press green flag, the two objects, uh, the sprites, it's going to hang out there. So when I press spacebar, alright, I need to collect the oranges. And soon the home power and the ingots and to invite the broom and also a scissors. Apparently when I okay okay. So when I hit less than zero, I am gonna lose this game. Yep, so you gotta collect about ten oranges to get right here, ten oranges, and you gotta go for a win. So that's how let's see how we get this. Coding done. Okay, so first and foremost, let me just switch this off. Alright, here we go. So you should have your resource files and the index name Chinese New Year. You can download this file later on on our website or link below. Okay, I'm probably just going to remove all this so we're going to start afresh. Right, and there should be no codes at all. Okay, done. So now let us start looking at our stage. We will have the instructions on Sky. So, what I'm gonna do right now is to go back to my folder. I need this Sky to be my backdrop. Right, instead of the one with the instructions. So I'm going to name these instructions. I'm going to upload sky. All right. So it's going to call sky zero. I'm just going to click sky. Okay. So when the green price click, this is given to you. Switch backdrop to instructions. I am gonna just when space by express. Okay, make sure you have read the game rules. How we're gonna code this because I am just gonna focus on the coding. So I'm gonna call the basket. He's the hero of this game. Um, perhaps I'm just gonna add my orange to this game. It's a huge orange, so it's okay. I'm gonna code orange. So green flag. It is gonna go. It is just gonna go up there. Okay, um, somewhere at the top. But for the size, maybe it's gonna hide first. Yeah, not a good idea. Show. We're gonna set the size first to set size to twenty percent. Okay, that looks reasonable. Maybe fifteen percent, right? Okay, so I'm gonna hide that for later. So the start is gonna hide on spacebar press. You're gonna notice that this game is gonna be very fast to code because the codes essentially are replicated. Okay, spacebar show up. Okay, it's gonna work with showing up. Where does it show up? It's going to go to the initialization. It's going to go to top of the screen where Y is about to say 160. Let's check that. Okay, fair enough. 160. And it's going to be a random number from a minus 220 to 220. Okay. And now, so it's working fine. Let's make a drop down. So I need to have a forever loop with a drop down. Move change of y, change, change of y by minus five. Let's see how far this goes. Okay, not too bad. Maybe minus three. Okay, now minus three. Now if it touches. 
it touches the green over here it is just gonna go up there so back I'm gonna use this okay let's see if it works yes it works nicely and that should be it right so now I can actually pass this code over to the room so let's try this again there you go both of them are falling from the skies okay so let's check out the code for the basket now the basket needs to start at the start okay it's already at uh, it's gonna show itself up show okay it's gonna be somewhere this is the hero of the game so specified in your game is gonna go to actually the X is in the center, the Y is 150. Yep, right there in the center. So the correct numbers, coordinates. Okay, it's going to show up and we're going to make control by if the right key is pressed, the motion, it can move, change X by 10. Let's see, yep, it works. So that's for the right side and I'm going to do for the left side at minus 10 okay so what else next is when the space bar when the game starts when the game starts right i would want it to be the controller it has to have a score of zero so set the score to zero okay and is forever checking the job of the hero is to check for the win and lose condition. So for the win condition, it's going to equal score. It's going to equal to 10. All right. And for the losing condition, this is score. It's going to be less than zero. All right. So you really got to win. You got to get a point at the start of the game. Okay. Now, if, okay, so what happens next is, score to 10, I'm going to change the background, I'm going to change the background to the win, okay, this has been pre-coded earlier, so you have a you win and you lose condition, alright, and I also need to broadcast to everybody that I won, and or lose right you need you may need to create these two broadcasts okay so now where is the score in all this okay so now for the orange if i touch the basket touch the basket i'm just going to go up again and after i go up I am going to change the score by 1 for the orange. So I'm going to take this and pass to the broom too. Okay, but the broom now is the minus 1. Okay, now at this point, now what happened to the green flag for these guys? So many for the green flag. Okay, I can just borrow from the orange again. Notice that I have not added all the other sprites yet. Right? Because I'm just going to work with these two first, the bonus and the minus. Okay, let's see whether I can get to a minus score. Let's see. It's less than zero. Oh, something's amiss. Okay. You win, you lose. So the bus could forever check. Okay. Let's just start again. Let's see if I can get to less than zero. Yes, okay. Now sometimes you need to resize down to the equal size to make sure the codes are compiled. Okay. So now for the last bit, okay. I'm going to for those of you who need to remove the background, just go to the paint, select the slash and remove the background. Okay, now that the two 
because it's almost ready. I'm going to upload my gold ingot. And the gold ingot has the same code as the orange. One way is I can pass over these codes and let's see down. Okay, they have the same codes. Alright, it's a bit too small because probably the size satisfies 200. Test. Okay, fair enough. The broom is rather small. The broom is going to be at 100%. Oh, it's too big. Maybe it's 20%. Okay. Okay, so another way to duplicate the code is to duplicate an orange. Now inside the costume, I'm just going to add the Hongbao. Right, and I'm going to delete this costume. So my third bonus item, the Hongbao, is cloned that way. But don't forget, the size needs to be, say, by 50%. Yep, that. Gonna remove those two things. Okay. And finally, the broom. Just gonna duplicate this for the scissors. Load my scissors. Okay. Delete the broom. Stop and start. Okay, it's a bit too big, so maybe 10%. Too small, 20%. Okay. Right. So we have a game going on. Now, just one more condition is that when the broadcast should stop everybody. Right. So, in fact, when I get less than zero, everyone will stop. Okay. So, if you want to make all these sprites disappear, you just have to when receive on this guy the sprites when I receive you lose or when I receive you win I am gonna hide myself All right make sure there's a show somewhere there and when I you see what you lose I'm still gonna hide but I need to pass this to everyone All right. okay this can be a bit repetitive so, do check your question and the game requirement so that you can get, you can uh, plan your codes much earlier. Okay, that's it guys. This is the game, a drop down game that you can master very fast. Okay. Ooh. Back to zero, and maybe we can stall. Maybe the okay, I want to get a you win this time. Tap, tap. Yep, that's tough. Okay, six, seven. Here, I'm gonna get eight, nine, and I'm gonna win. Oops, it's gonna eight, nine, and you win. Okay, thanks for watching and enjoy. Let's see us at our next tutorial, our next game, or another tech hack. Alright, see you on the next CPTube tutorial.